Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review. And today we are checking out a very, very big update to the Machine Gun Rebirth mod by Skibada. Now, if for whatever reason you're not familiar with Machine Gun Rebirth, this is going to add in four brand new heavy weapons into the game, two of which are large machine guns, one of which is a very large automatic grenade launcher, and the other is a flak cannon. These are some truly Fallout weapons, definitely intended for use in power armor, although you can use them whenever, and they are just absolutely massive and beautiful. Now, this is a mod that actually came out a while ago, and I already do have a video covering its initial release. So if you haven't seen that yet, and you're not sure about what Machine Guns Rebirth is, I encourage you to go check out that video so you can get all the details as to what these weapon mods actually offer. Today's video is going to be focused primarily on the update that has come out, as Skibido had promised that there would be a pretty substantial content update coming to this mod, and he has delivered some very beautiful stuff for these weapons. And so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So the biggest notes of this update is that it's going to include a bunch of new skins and customization options to the weapons themselves, as well as some new turreted versions of the weapons that you can place down at your settlement for your defense rating, which is super cool. Having these gigantic turret-esque weapons, one of them is actually a turret traditionally, and now you can actually place them down as a turret in your settlement, that is really cool. On top of that though, there was a nice little bonus that I was not expecting. These turreted versions can actually be found out in the world if you so please. There is an install holotape that if you open it up, you can find the new option to add these turrets into the world. So if you go out to places like Gunner's Plaza, you may encounter some heavier turrets that you may not have been expecting, which I don't know why you'd want to do that to yourself, but if you're looking for something to amp up the difficulty, this is something that definitely could. If you choose to implement the turrets into the level list, they will only be found in the Mark 19 and Mark 22 variants, you will not find flak or grenade launcher turrets fighting against you, as I have a feeling that would be a little bit too tough. That being said, you can craft them at your own settlement. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and hop into the settlement menu so we can check out the newly added turrets right now. So here we are at my horribly battered test station with one of these turrets up and running right now. This one in particular is the flak gun, and look at how intimidating this thing is. I know there was a mod before, I believe it was the PTRS anti-tank rifle that you can make turrets out of that looks something like this, but this is just so much bigger and quite frankly scarier. <laughs> Has a little bit of the uh, Halo Warthog turret vibe to it. So you can actually build each of these weapons as a turret in your settlement. All you're gonna have to do is head over to your defense section, head over to turrets, and they will be right there. Starting with the Mark 19 machine gun turret. This is going to provide eight defense and will require two power, as will the rest of these turrets. The same goes for the flak turret, the AGL, your automatic grenade launcher, and then the Mark 22 turret. Now, like I said, these all require two power and produce eight defense, and they're all gonna cost the same to craft, which is going to be 10 steel, two circuitry, two gears, and four oil, along with the gun nut rank one perk. So if we get a nice power supply here, we can boot all of these up, and we may even do some damage testing later on in the video because I'm curious just how these perform. Let's make sure we get an ample power supply here and let's wire all of these bad boys up because I want to see them in action. Very cool. They're all up and running completely off of each other's cycles, but still very intimidating. Now, we will do some individual damage tests later to see how each of these turrets performs. While they do have the same defense rating, I have a feeling they're going to perform differently because of their different firing modes. But for now, let's see what all four of these combined will do to a Deathclaw. Just because I'm curious. Well, didn't realize that I didn't have my Deathclaws equipped, but... That still gives you a pretty good idea. Having a bunch of these at your settlement is going to absolutely tear through just about anything that attacks you. Pretty neat. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there are also a bunch of new skins and customization options for each of these weapons. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through those really quick before we move on to that turret damage test. So when we head over to each of these weapons, there is now a material section where you can choose some different cosmetics, starting with the standard green material. We then have the Atom Cats material, which is going to paint on some nice flames and checkers. This has got to be one of my favorites from this pack. And each of these is going to look slightly different on each weapon, so I'm going to show them all off for you guys. We have the Brotherhood material, gives you a nice gray with orange Brotherhood markings. The Enclave, which is a solid black over the whole thing. It even does the ammo canister and gives it the nice Enclave emblem. 
The gunner pack is going to give you some skulls and the bullets around the magazine there with a nice green paint job. The hot rod flames gives you a black and red hot rod material, much like the vanilla power armor material. We have the hot rod pink as well as the hot rod shark. I particularly like this one. This is a very nice rendition of the vanilla hot rod shark material. However, the exact placement of the shark's mouth right here reminds me a lot of the flamethrower from Halo 3. Weird specific shout out, but that's just kind of the vibe I get from it. And then we also have the Institute material here, which I actually do really like the way that this looks. If you were playing an Institute heavy gunner, this is pretty cool to have as your character's weapon. Then we have the Minutemen material, which rather than just a standard blue and Minutemen logo, we also have a nice painted on American flag there, and I think that looks very cool. And then finally, we do have the vault Tech material, which is going to give you a nice blue and gold paint job over the whole thing. Very pretty. Let's go ahead and see what some of these materials look like on the other weapons. Going on to the Mark 22 heavy machine gun, we hit over to materials, and we're going to have the exact same allotment, but like I said, it's just going to look different on each weapon. Here we have that nice Adam Katz paint job. The Brotherhood, the Enclave, the Gunner, which has a little bit less green on the magazine this time, the Hot Rod Flames, the Hot Rod Pink, Hot Rod Shark, which has a nice extended mouth there, the Institute, the Minutemen this time, a little bit less of the American flag up here on the top, a lot more blue this time around, and then the vault Tech, which has an awful lot of yellow, but that's nice if you're a vault Tech enjoyer head over to the automatic grenade launcher here, which has a nice large picture in our workbench. Here we have the Adam Katz material, the Brotherhood, the Enclave, the Gunner, the Hot Rod Flames, the Hot Rod Pink, the Hot Rod Shark with a nice happy grin there, the Institute, the Minuteman, and the vault Tech. And finally, we have the Flak Gun and its options. Save this one for last because I think it takes paints the best out of all of these weapons. Go ahead and head over to the Atom Cats. This, I think, is my favorite combination out of all of the weapons. I really like the checkers on this thing. The Brotherhood, the Enclave, the Gunner, the Hot Rod Flames, the Hot Rod Pink, the Hot Rod Shark. I like how the eye is displaced up here. They're really cool looking. The Institute, the Minutemen, and the vault Tech, which honestly, this is my favorite rendition of the vault Tech as well. I really like the way the flat gun takes paints in this mod. All right, now we are on to individual damage tests, which by the way, I almost forgot to disable this guy over here. So we're going to test each of these individually by powering it up to our power source and testing it on that death claw over yonder, starting with the Mark 19 machine gun. So let's go ahead and wire this bad boy up and we're going to have to turn on the combat AI and just see what happens. So, Mark 19, going first. And it actually did a pretty good job. Two full bursts and the death claw is down. Not too shabby. Good job, Mark 19. Let's see how the Mark 22 does. All right, same routine here. I'm going to grab the Mark 22 wire it up to our power supply and turn on the AI. Let's see how it does. Much beefier damage, still gonna take two bursts though, but puts him down a lot quicker. He didn't even get to approach us. Very cool. So even though these have the exact same defense rating, you can see that one spits out more damage and I have a feeling that's just gonna keep getting better as we move down the line. Let's try out the flat gun next. All right, running through the same routine for the third time. Let's grab our flak gun here, wire it up to the generator, and let's turn on the AI. I have a feeling this one's gonna do some hefty damage. And I would be correct. <laughs> Perhaps these defense ratings need to be adjusted given the sheer amount of damage that some of these do compared to the others. That flak gun is awesome and I really want to see it take down a vertebrate. Maybe that's just me. Let's move on to that automatic grenade launcher and see how it does. All right, wiring these guys up for the last time. Grab our automatic grenade launcher here, throw it onto the generator, and let's turn on the AI and let it rip. Let's 
Uh-oh. I'd say this one isn't as effective as the flat gun. But it still does the job just fine. Pretty neat. I like these a lot. I'm so glad to see these in a turret form. They are so cool and so menacing, and these can really help defend a settlement, especially in the late game. Super cool stuff and just awesome work by Skibida. So yeah, guys, that is the newest update to the Machine Gun Rebirth mod. What I think is one of, if not the best heavy weapons and more importantly, heavy weapon packs for Fallout 4. There aren't too many heavy weapon packs in general, but uh, this one definitely takes the cake and has some really amazing weapons. And this update just makes them even better. Really love the cosmetic options and those turrets are just magnificent. And be careful wandering around after you install this mod because now you can find them in your world as well, fighting against you. Awesome work. I highly encourage you to go check this one out for yourself. There will be links down in the description below for both the PC and Xbox versions. So go ahead and try them out for yourself and tell me what you think in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to drop a rating. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. And really quick, I'd like to make a shout out to all of our patrons. Your donations are greatly appreciated and really help to support the channel and videos just like this one. So again, thank you.